is there some secret link between your ascendant nakshatra and your moon nakshatra what is that secret link ascendant nakshatra is the rising nakshatra there is not one there are many secrets which are intertwined between the two all right so stay tuned to exotic astrology today and uh, if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation from me regarding your ascendant or your moon nakshatra or your career marriage then please go down to the description section and today i must say before god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him because this is a very interesting topic which we are going to discuss today what is why in the universe is the moon nakshatra known as the janma nakshatra why 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 not the why not the sun nakshatra why not the lagna nakshatra why does it say like that because you have to understand who is taking janma who is taking birth <laughs> people think janma means all right somebody is taking birth but the moon is subtle the mind is subtle right the mind doesn't have a gross form so when somebody is born we say okay this person's nakshatra janma nakshatra is suppose uttar falguni for example and then it's very weird because the time that we note is not that day when moon enters uttar falguni when we say this person is born at 3 pm new delhi india on 10th december 1958 <laughs> it means the person's body came into existence right so that means the sign which was rising at that time which is the lagna nakshatra should be the janma nakshatra right because that the janma is happening but that's not the way it is because that's where you go wrong because the body of the baby that you see which appears to have taken a so called birth is very superficial what is that body you have to understand the body that you see this i explained in my yesterday's video also 12 from atmakaraka what is that which you see as lord krishna says in the gita na, that at the time of your death whatever you think that state you shall attain without fail so you may think that the body is taking birth the body is coming into existence that is where the lagna is decided but no it is not the body it is the desires from your past which is stored in the moon okay the moon is the representative of the mind which shows um moon is a combination of you know unfulfilled desires and past experiences fears insecurities you know conception of what is good and bad what is right and wrong for you, you what is enjoyable what is miserable all these things are stored in the mind so the mind is actually taking another birth it is not that the body is taking and literally it's not even the mind it's the soul who is taking um, uh, a new garment actually as krishna says in the gita na, the soul takes up a new garment okay so therefore although the ascendant the the time when the person is born we say okay this is the nakshatra which was rising but that is only the lagna nakshatra it is not the moon nakshatra because the body is not taking birth again because in this life the body will uh, take birth and it will dwindle but then what happens gradually the mind's desires are shaped okay so how do you distinguish between the moon nakshatra and the uh, ascendant nakshatra the moon's nakshatra janma nakshatra is the storehouse of all the desires the, the main reason why you took birth that is why it is known as the janma nakshatra and therefore the moon's nakshatra is very crucial because anything and everything that happens around you you will it's like a lens you know you will view it through that lens that is why dasha systems vimshotri dasha starts from there it doesn't start from the lagna nakshatra of course there are many different dasha systems but for basic dashas like vimshotri why does it start from the moon 
it's very weird right because uh, it's it's not physical if you see you know it's it's not showing physical things okay so your moon nakshatra tells you your desires so for example uh, your it uh, not only tells you your desires it tells you how how you have been thinking from many many lifetimes the moon nakshatra tells you what is your thought process okay and when i say thought process i don't mean to say uh, in a sense of mercury you know like intellectual thought process but how do you view life what do you think about life in general how do you feel about life these are the things which are there in the moon's nakshatra and you have lot of desires that you that is why you have taken birth but now then there is this life where you have certain planets and depending on the ascendant these planets will be sitting somewhere and they will be lording some houses they will be ruling some houses they will be sitting somewhere okay so for example if you are a capricorn lagna then venus is the lord of your 5th house and the 10th house it is a yoga card for aquarius it's the 4th and the 9th lord okay so what does it mean it means that you have these truck load of desires which is there in the moon in the mind but in this life you have been given this model of the horoscope which you are born with that shows your the activities which will happen externally in this life because of your piety or your sins both the things are there pious karma impious karma okay sinful karma both the things are only seen from the uh, lagna because from the lagna you have the dusthanas the 6th 8th and the 12th these three houses they show sin where you have committed sin um what wrong activities you have done where are the lords of these sitting okay you cannot say oh um, uh, my x y z planet is in 12th from the moon it's in the 8th from the moon it's in 6th from the moon so you know i will suffer in this life that may be there but what i'm trying to tell you is if there's a planet in dusthana from your lagna then you are bound to have some challenges okay regarding that planet or that house th those houses which that planet rules uh very careful here uh, in the dusthana of the bhav chart okay because many times people say oh my uh, this planet uh, suppose venus is in 6th house it's in maran karak sthan but i had a great romantic life my dear sir my dear madam it's actually not there in your 6th house it was there in the 5th house of your bhav chart but the problem is you don't know about bhav chart and you are just seeing the lagna chart all right so placements should always be seen from the bhav chart not the lagna chart and if this sounds alien then please go and type exotic astrology bhav chart okay so therefore the lagna the lagna nakshatra is like the good and bad that you have been given in this life but who is going to experience all this it is the mind it is the moon that is why the dashas will tell you so imagine Uh, the dasha of a tenth house uh, is uh, running. Okay, if a planet in the tenth is running, so then what is happening physically from the lagna? Suppose you have you know uh, Jupiter in tenth. This Jupiter is getting activated. Jupiter Mahadasha started. So externally, what is happening? You are getting you know big big promotions or something. You know this you are getting like a lot of name fame and all this example. But ultimately. where from where does that dasha start it doesn't start from the ascendant it starts from the moon okay so that means mentally you are experiencing that or you must experience that mentally otherwise you there's no use of that promotion you see so therefore these two nakshatras are very much interlinked and therefore we must study these two nakshatras very beautifully and the moon's nakshatra will tell you the story of your desires okay and therefore when you know the story like every nakshatra has a uh, different story associated with it okay so the nakshatra lord where he is sitting and when you know the stories associated with that then you have to see the corresponding planets or those houses which that planet represents okay so sometimes you see in some nakshatras you know there's a story of misunderstanding okay like somebody wanting to do something but something else happening okay or somebody is accused like in rohini uh, lord krishna was accused okay for uh, that uh, shamantak jewel okay 
and then the story of satranjit is there and you know, akrur ji is also there so many people are involved in that so therefore if anybody has moon in rohini that means it's very crucial that you check planets sitting in the eighth or check where your eighth lord is sitting because eighth house is the core house of defamy do not forget and scandals love romance something to do with the fifth house and the 12th house all right if if your uh, janma nakshatra is uh, suppose swati okay your moon is in swati then you have to be very careful uh regarding uh because what is related to air you see so you can be very much vulnerable to uh, uh miscommunication okay or something happens and things go viral and then you are regretting lamenting later on so if your moon is in swati then you must check the third house is your third lord in the 6th 8th or 12th then this gets magnified you see and the ascendant nakshatra the ascendant nakshatra will tell you how that manifestation is unfolding okay so ex ascendant nakshatra means externally there is a story which is happening okay this is happening that is happening okay but that story is dependent on the story of the moon's nakshatra which means ultimately the moon's nakshatra decides everything and then the ascendant nakshatra is like okay okay this is what you want okay but now i am here so i will do it my way okay but yes the objective of the moon's nakshatra will be fulfilled because irrespective of whatever happens externally you will you will only experience it the atma will experience it when it reaches to the level of the mind okay so if a person has a moon in uttar falguni and then a person has a, a, the ascendant suppose it's in hasta nakshatra will experience uttar falguni primarily okay but it will happen through the story of hasta nakshatra okay and if a person has moon in uttar falguni and the ascendant is in revati nakshatra then the uttar falguni story will play out in his mind through revati nakshatra so externally you will see that oh lot of revati things are happening in this person's life okay okay so therefore you you need to uh, study the nakshatras properly and you have to try to uh, you have to try to harmonize you have to see how is this moon's nakshatra going to play how is the picture going to start okay and then once you know that you know the corresponding houses okay as i said for example for revati if your moon is in revati then revati is linked with pusan you know uh somebody taking you from one place to the other so the ninth house third house 12th house these are very important so once you know that okay your moon is in Re revati jupiter is important okay and once you see that then you see okay my ascendant nakshatra is telling this is the story which will happen okay but ultimately it is not the ascendant nakshatra which is playing in the background it is always the moon's nakshatra which is happening the ascendant nakshatra is like you know it's like uh players within the chess board right it it might appear that the king is going ahead or the queen is going in the right left wherever i don't know where the king queen they can go some special rules <laughs> but what i'm trying to tell you is the moon's nakshatra is like the player okay you are playing one ahead one behind right left wherever right so therefore that is how you have to analyze the moon's nakshatra and the ascendant nakshatra okay because many times you get confused oh ascendant nakshatra is this moon nakshatra is this what will happen will it contradict each other no it will not contradict okay the moon's nakshatra will give you the ingredients what what what's the dish that you will cook <laughs> all right so imagine if uh, the moon's nakshatra is uh, is a moon is in a particular nakshatra so that's like the dish you are cooking that okay like purva falguni something very spicy you know something that's red color something that's uh, that's uh, that's making too much noise you know purva falguni makes too much noise sometimes and then suppose you have this uh, chitra nakshatra is the ascendant nakshatra okay then it might happen that people are clicking photos they are trying to say that oh you should perfect this dish because chitra is related to uh, vishwakarma and that shining jewel as they say now you trying to perfect everything hmm? but what will you perfect 
you might perfect anything you might perfect a german dish an indian dish an italian dish what is that dish that dish is the moon's nakshatra okay so do not confuse between the two and try to see what is your moon nakshatra telling and learn the stories related to that particular nakshatra and then see those corresponding houses okay like i gave you example of swati i gave you of rohini okay all these things okay uh, and then um, once you see that uh, you know what is going uh, what's the flavor for the moon nakshatra then you see what is the ascendant nakshatra okay then you understand how the final play is happening okay thank you very much for your patience and as usual god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it below consultations via my website down below okay thank you very much